Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Echo ROM V.2 codename TIME. So this is a ROM which has been there for a lot of other phones like the S4 and Note 3, Note 2 I guess. So it is now available for S3 too. Now the speciality about this ROM is that this is a stock based ROM which is on the latest version of Android by Samsung which is XXUGML2 it's not K6 it's ML2 which is which corresponds to December so it's the latest version it's pretty cool it's really fast it doesn't have a lot of problems which was in the UJ9 so yeah that's pretty cool let's get into the ROM first so you can see um, here is the lock screen it does have the ripple effect lock screen now the version I'm running is the full version not the light version there is a light version available but um, from my standoff uh, the light version is about 680 megs and this one is about 900 megs so there's only a difference of 300 megs I guess I can live with the 300 megs and stuff so yeah about the launcher, we have the touchless launcher. This is not the Note, Note 3 launcher. This is the S3 launcher. So you can see the um, page notification as round rather than lines. So it does have a lot of apps. Now mind you, this does not come with an aroma installer. It's not an aroma based installer. It's just a flashing installer like the uh, CyanogenMod ROMs. So you will get everything. You ha don't have the choice of what all you want with the full installer so you have to keep that in mind let's get into the settings and um, about phone page you can see um, the about device you can see it is happy new year yeah it's a new year release and we have android 4.3 which is the baseband well, the modem file i'm using is mk6 it doesn't have a modem file so yes that is a good thing so you can see build number is echo illusion rom ML2 so that's the latest version you can see s4 4.3 touch with version 2 okay so you can see the echo team has developed this pretty awesome it does have a lot of those pretty cool now let's get into the settings page now the settings are more or less the same as the normal s3 settings the extra feature if you might have seen that are two you can see call and message block here so you can ha you do have a call and message filter built into it so you can have a uh, whitelisted and block blacklisted things rather than going into call menu and then in the advanced settings you have it over here so that's pretty cool now the extra features are in this one so you can see echo rom settings has a lot of things the first thing is downloads it as it it says themes mods and much more it does have a lot of those you can see the um, flash it does take a while i'll show you guys later now you do have an option to change the dpi setting of the entire system kind of like the archeroid but in this one uh, the implementation is la is that you can select what dpi setting you want from the rom rather than from the aroma launcher so that's pretty cool so the current value is 320 so yeah nexus 320 i guess is nexus uh, option it does have an uh, other options too like these so you can select that so that's pretty cool um it does have framework mod so you have a framework module you can install you need to install this after you flash the rom so it doesn't inst come installed it does have per app dpi setting so that you can select if you are changing the dpi you might have a few problems if you are uh, restoring apps from the titanium backup so that's pretty cool you also have Wonum. Wonum expose one of the best modules on expose framework for a stock rom so that's pretty cool you have all these options which you can tweak i only al almost always use this so that's pretty cool uh, the rest of the tools are these first of all you have tool which is app ops starter which actually you can um, select what all options you can the permission you can select the permission of each and every app so that's pretty cool uh, for example I can go here and if it if I think it doesn't need to read my calendar I can just turn it off but being a calendar widget it requires that so 
Be careful with it. Now, battery style changer, which is a pretty awesome thing. You can see the battery here, right? It is kind of a proprietary Echo ROM battery. So you can select that and you can change it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you have a bunch of different styles. So that's pretty cool. You have progress line. So it changes it to progress line. You have slim bar like the CM uh, thing. You have stock S4. One um exposed style. It has a lot. You can even have no icons. So this one is kind of like the one um exposed, I guess. You have square drop. <laughs> pretty cool. Um, cast away like the speedometer. Uh, broken circle. A USB circle. Accelerator is pretty cool. So you have a lot of options there. So I'm going to select uh, stock S4. So that's pretty cool. So you have various options there. You also have Wiper Audio Mod, which is one of the best audio mods out there. So 4.3. So you have that. You can use that. You can tweak whatever you want in the options. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So it also has Light Manager app, which actually uh, personalizes what or what the notification light shows you whenever a new notification occurs. For example, for missed call, you can have a uh, green, red, whatever you want. You can even have a custom color so that you can select whatever kind of color you want. That's pretty cool. It's a really awesome app which I use with most of my ROMs because well it does have a notification light. Why should I not customize that? So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Now we have battery calibration tool which is a really awesome tool. If you think your battery is not really uh, holding as much charge as it used to be, you can use this calibration tool and then calibrate whatever percentage it is showing and what actually is. So that's pretty cool. You can use that and uh, get the results. I kind of use it once every month or once in two months. So that is my frequency of usage. So yeah. It does have Adaway, which is a new, which is an app which I use. Uh, it actually d blocks the ads in various apps. So that's really awesome. You can use that. But if you want to support the developer of the app, please don't use that. But if you mind the app ads like that much, you can use that. It's there. Now, fast dormancy is again a battery saving feature. It is, I have talked about this on every other round, so you can use that if you want to save a bit of battery. Be sure to check if your carrier supports, uh, dormancy or not. So, you can have that. CPU spy, again, you can monitor your CPU settings so that you can see how much your CPU is being used. Like, mine uses deep sleep. For about 2.8 percentage, 1.4 megahertz is like at like 40.7 percentage. So that is my CPU usage. So you can use that to see how your CPU is being used. And again, last but not the least, you have GPS Fix, which calibrates your GPS files to track you based on your location. So my location is India, so I'll select India and go it is now the pool server is now in india so it will track mine faster so that's pretty cool so you can change it whatever wherever you go if you're a world traveler hey you have the app you can change it that's pretty cool now it does have echo rom extended power menu so this actually comes with the rom so you have the options here too so if you don't want to use the uh, normal way you can use that from there also what else does this have now that is a bit more of uh, apps and stuff that you may not be accustomed to but after you get used to it it will be a lifesaver it that really works out uh, sometimes you might want to change the dpi for funds and you, it, it really works now there is this rom specific app called the echo creations app which is kind of similar to the omega roms omega files pro Omega Files app which gives you access to whatever their server has like for instance my phone is uh, S3 so I'll select S3 it gives me a bunch of things which I can select now applications in the application you can have all of these uh, if I click any of them it will download the thing and I can flash it in the recovery and I can have that 
So that's a pretty cool feature. Now I can have Play Store 4.4. The Play Store which comes with this is a really old one without the um, sliding panel. So you can have that. You can also have uh, Note 3 My Files, Note 3 Bloomberg, which is a really useful app. I actually use that a lot. Also, you can have the Google Experience Launcher if you want to use the um, OK Google features, Genie widget. You can have any of the 4.4 camera and gallery app. That's kind of funny because all of them are same, but 4.4, 4.4.1, or 4.4.2. So you can use whatever you want. That's pretty cool. Now, it also has a bunch of uh, boot animation, actually two. It has Echo Illusion boot animation for the TouchWiz ROM, or you can have the KitKat Echo boot animation. I'll show you guys the uh, TouchWiz version uh, in the coming time. It does have a lot of mods too. So you have 4-way reboot, which I've just showed you. So you, it can have custom boot sound. It does have boot sound, so yeah. SMS uh, MMS app with no M SM SMS or MMS conversion, custom emoticons, and stuff like that. It's actually inbuilt into this, this being the full version. It is actually inbuilt, so all of these features may be obsolete for you if you are using um, the full version, so yeah. If you are using the light version, this may be actually relevant for you. That's pretty cool. Now, stock files. That is the stock touches file. You can select all the stock files if you are not happy with the customization offered by this ROM. So, yeah, that's there. Wallpapers too. If you uh, want echo wallpapers, it does have that. There are a lot of wallpapers. I'm not going to get into that too much. So, yeah. Now let's show you guys the boot animation and uh, stuff. There is the shutdown animation which is pretty cool. It shows you guys what this is. The website which is echorom.com So here is the boot animation for Echo Illusion ROM. So that's pretty cool. It's a huge boot animation by the looks of it. And yeah it does work out pretty good. I'm not sure if you heard the boot sound, but there was a very, very subtle boot sound, so it is there. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, the Android 2 benchmarks I can't show you guys because it's keeping it's it keeps crashing. Uh, I'm not sure why, but the previous time I used this ROM uh, in my tests, um, the ROM. The Android benchmarks gave me a score of about 18600, which is kind of, uh, it's okay. It's not uh, very good, but it's kind of similar to what I expected. I didn't expect too much from it because this is loaded with features. So, yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.